What's going on everyone? My name is Chris Chan, the founder and CEO of ActiveAge Daytime Senior Care. And today we're going to talk about your lease terms, like how to rent a property. You know, are you asking the right questions? Do you truly understand the cost of maybe renting a space? You know, maybe you're opening up an adult daycare center, maybe you're opening up a home care agency and you need an office space, uh, whether it's professional office place space or you're going into a retail plaza, whatever the case might be. Things that you might need to consider if you've never rented a place before, especially a commercial space, right? You might be familiar with renting a home, but maybe you've never rented in a commercial space before. And I wanted to just break down and kind of go over some terms that are common in when you're thinking about renting a place. Uh, that being said, we're gonna talk about the base rent. We're gonna talk about what is a cam. We're gonna talk about triple net taxes, uh, TI, which is tenant improvements, rent abatement, tenant responsibilities, terms, and personal guarantees, and things like that. But you know, really the core of this message is to you know, kind of help you understand when you think about calculating the cost of renting a space, especially when you're thinking about opening up an adult daycare center, right? Because you know, you need an environment in order to conduct your business. And, you know, when you think about that location, that's going to be one of your larger expenses. And is it something that you're purchasing or is it something that you're leasing? If you're going to lease the space, then it's very important because you're probably going to put a lot of, you know, improvements into it and invest a lot of money into the build out of it. So it's just extremely important for you to take into consideration, you know, what is it going to truly cost me to rent this place. What is that base rent? You know, is there a cam? Is there a triple net? What's the difference? You know, how is it going to work if, there, if there's par- repairs that need to be made in the future and things like that? So, you know, that being said, just kind of a, just a general idea. So let's say, for instance, uh, just for simple rounding sake, uh, we're thinking about base rent at ten bucks a square foot. So, say you see some ad, you're ten bucks a square foot. You're like, man, that's not too bad. 10 bucks a square foot, we can do that. And you know, say you need uh, 5,000 square feet for your, for your adult daycare, right? So 10 bucks a square foot, 5,000 square feet. The way you're gonna calculate this is, is you're gonna calculate the square footage, 5,000 times 10 bucks per square foot. Now it's gonna give you the annual cost of that. So that's gonna be $50,000 per year in order to come up with a average monthly cost. You know, you divide that by 12. And so this is gonna turn out to be Let's see here, $4,166 per month, okay? So 10 bucks square foot, 5,000 square feet, the cost of that is 4,166 per month. Now, let's not get too excited because what happens a lot of the times is people do not take into consideration or they may forget there's additional cost to that. So is there a cam or is there a triple net? What's the difference? So CAM is your common area maintenance. So this might be things like landscaping. Uh, it might be like, you know, the, the, the you know, parking lot. Maybe it's like, you know, it's, it's re- resealed every so many years or maybe there's pressure washing done or there's lights that are replaced or just general kind of ongoing maintenance items to the building itself. Uh, typically they'll put together like a figure that will be an add-on or an additional uh, expense on top of the base rent. So that would be the cam. And then triple net, what that's going to be is that's going to be the common area maintenance plus property taxes and insurance. Okay. So you might have a cam that's like, you know, three bucks a square foot. You might have uh, a triple net that's maybe five, six, seven, you know, $8 a square foot. They're all very different, but either way, one of them is going to be kind of in addition to that base rent. Okay. So let's say for just simple kind of like number's sake, you know, it's triple net and we're going to have a $5 per square foot triple net. Okay. So what is that going to be? That's actually going to be roughly half of that, right? So 5,000 square feet equals 2,083.33. So the reality of it is it's not going to cost you 4,000 a month. It's really, it's going to cost you about 6,000 250 bucks per month, but we're not done because Uncle Sam's always got to get his cut. So 6,250 times sales tax of 1.07 equals. So let's see here. So the total equals 6,687.5, right? So this is times 1.07. So sales tax. 7%. 
So of course, Uncle Sam always gets paid. So I mean, look at there. You might have based all of your calculations on this $4,166 price point because you're like, oh, 10 bucks a square foot, 5,000 square feet. Honey, we can get this deal for 4,000 bucks a month. That's perfect. But you forgot to take into consideration there might be triple net, there might be cam, there might, there's gonna be taxes on top of that. And so really what ends up happening is now that space is really gonna cost $6,700 per month and, and that may have been something that you did not put into your projection or didn't put into your calculations, but it's going to be very important because guess what? That bill is coming every single month and your entire business depends on your ability to meet that commitment. You know, make sure you're, when you're doing your research, you, you understand these things because one of the things that you might take into consideration is tenant responsibilities. Like for instance, say there's a roof leak. Is that your responsibility as the tenant or is that the landlord's responsibility? You know, sometimes people make the assumption like, oh, that's the landlord's. Well, it depends on how the contract is written. It depends on that building. It depends on that landlord. Every single landlord might be a little bit different. So there might be a common element between landlords. There might be these common themes, but they're all gonna be a little bit different. So it's gonna be very important for you to understand like if the toilet breaks, if you know, if there's a water leak coming from the roof, there's a water leak in the wall, if there's an electrical issue, like what responsibility falls on you where you got to call as the tenant, call the electrician, call the plumber, call the, the roofer. You know, if the AC goes out, is that you as a tenant's responsibility or is that the landlord's responsibility? Who do you call for those situations? You know, making sure you understand those things. Also, you might also want to take into consideration when you're signing a lease, are you signing a you know two-year lease, a five-year lease, a 10-year lease, depending on the, the length of the lease that you're signing, you know, are you able to potentially qualify for uh, tenant improvements? What that might be is the landlord might say, hey, you know what, we'll go ahead and make you know $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 worth of improvements to the space and you can kind of have you know, maybe some oversight on how those improvements are made. And then they might have some oversight on how they choose to spend that money. Uh, and it would be kind of like a, a mutual agreement of like, hey, we're gonna go do this, but they're gonna put money into the building. You might also have the ability to get a rent abatement where maybe you're like, hey, we're a new business, we're a startup, it's gonna take us X amount of time to get licensed. And so what you might do is say, hey, can I get a rent abatement for X period of time? You know, that might be a full rent abatement or what it might be is, it might be a rent abatement where they, you don't have to pay the base rent, but you might still have to pay the cam, the triple net and the taxes, you know? So it might be an adjusted like rent abatement, not a full rent abatement, but there might be the, where the base rent itself is uh, adjusted. But again, you're still paying cam, you're still paying triple net and you're still paying taxes. Okay. And then uh, the other thing would be is like, is there a personal guarantee? You know, sometimes if it's a big chain or a big franchise chain, like I know like as we build our franchise out, my hope is that someday we get to a point where our franchisees no longer have to have a personal guarantee because the brand is so strong and our due diligence is so good that, you know, we have such success that landlords were able to show them a proven track record and, and then, and then uh, franchisees or, or tenants aren't uh, they don't have to put up a personal guarantee their business can be uh, the what's guaranteeing the lease to be paid so and then understanding the terms you know do you have uh, a percentage of increase every single year like is there a three percent bump on the base rent or a five percent bump or is, is there no rent increase for the first four years and then so, and, and then a three percent rent increase kicks in after that so just taking all of those things into consideration, making sure you have a, a full picture of all of these different items that make up your base rent. Because at the end of the day, you wanna get this right. This is a very important piece to the puzzle because it is going to be the home of your business and your business is gonna rely on the space that you, you, know, that you lease in order for that business to be successful. And because this is such a large investment, both in the build out as well as like the investment into this business, you wanna make sure that it's the right place and that you understand the lease and that you understand the contract and you understand how it works and that you're educated when you're going in to make an offer on that building. So uh, that being said, I hope this helped answer some of your questions in regarding leasing a property or renting a property in a commercial uh, building or in a retail plaza. Uh, thanks again for joining us. If you'd like to learn more about opening up your own adult daycare, make sure you go to adcpro.com to learn 
learn about how to open up a million dollar adult daycare business. Love to help you out. And thank you again for joining me. The number one channel on for senior care entrepreneurs. That's you guys. Thank you all so much for your support. Now let's get back to work. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you'd like to learn how to open your own adult daycare center, go to adcpro.com. If you'd like the latest business tips, click here and make sure you subscribe to our channel. Click here. We'll see you guys next time.